today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1765, the British Parliament passed the Stamp Act, which imposed a direct tax on colonists. As you can imagine, it did not improve relations with the American colonies one bit. In 1784, the Emerald Buddha is moved with great ceremony to its current place in Wat Phra Kau, Thailand. In 1794, Congress bans U.S. vessels from supplying slaves to other countries. In 1809, Charles XIII succeeds Gustav IV Adolf to the Swedish throne. In 1829, the three protecting powers the United Kingdom, France, and Russia established the borders of Greece. In 1871, the residents of North Carolina become the first to impeach and remove their governor, William Woods Holden. In 1872, Illinois becomes the first state to require sexual equality in employment. Yep, it was in 1872. In 1873, a law is approved by the Spanish National Assembly in Puerto Rico to abolish slavery. In 1894, the Montreal Amateur Athletic Association won ice hockey's first Stanley Cup. In 1895, Auguste and Louis Lumiere show their first movie to an invited audience. In 1903, New York Highlanders tickets go on sale for the first time ever. We now call the Highlanders the Yankees. Also in 1903, believe it or not, Niagara Falls runs out of water because of a drought. In 1908, American Western author Louis L'Amour was born. In 1917, the U.S. is the first nation to recognize the new government of Russia. In 1923, the first radio broadcast of ice hockey occurs today. In 1929, a U.S. Coast Guard vessel sinks a Canadian schooner suspected of carrying liquor. Remember, the U.S. had implemented prohibition. In 1930, the amazing American composer Stephen Sondheim is born. In 1933, President Franklin D. Roosevelt legalizes wine and beer with up to 3.2% alcohol. In 1935, in New York, blood tests are okayed as evidence in court cases. In 1941, American movie star Jimmy Stewart is inducted into the Army. In 1943, the entire population of Katyn in Belarus is burned alive by German occupation forces. In 1944, American movie star Jimmy Stewart flies his 12th combat mission, leading the second bomb wing in an attack on Berlin. In 1945, the Arab League is founded. In 1946, today the first U.S. rocket leaves the Earth's atmosphere and goes 50 miles up. In 1948, English composer extraordinaire Andrew Lloyd Webber is born. In 1954, Northland Center, at the time the world's largest shopping mall, opens in Oak Park, Michigan. In 1956, the musical Mr. Wonderful, starring Sammy Davis Jr. and Sammy Davis Sr., opens at the Broadway Theater in New York City for 383 performances. In 1957, Elvis Presley releases All Shook Up. In 1962, the musical I Can Get It For You Wholesale, starring Barbara Streisand in her Broadway debut, opens at the Schubert in New York City for 300 performances. In 1963, the Beatles released their first album, Please Please Me. In 1965, the U.S. confirms that U.S. troops used chemical warfare against the Viet Cong. In 1968, Linda Johnson is ordered off of a San Francisco cable car for eating an ice cream cone. In 1969, Billy opens and closes at the Billy Rose Theater in New York City after one performance. In 1971, at the 6th Academy of Country Music Awards, Merle Haggard and Lynn Anderson win. In 1972, the U.S. Senate approved the Equal Rights Amendment, but it failed to be ratified by the requisite majority of 38 states before the deadline. Also in 1972, the U.S. Supreme Court rules that unmarried people have the same right to contraception as married people. In 1975, the Walt Disney World Shopping Village opens. In 1976, American actress Reese Witherspoon is born. In 1977, Indira Gandhi resigns as Prime Minister of India. In 1978, Carl Valenda of the Flying Valendas dies after falling off of a tightrope between two hotels in San Juan, Puerto Rico. 
Also in 1978, the Ruttles mockumentary, All You Need Is Cash, debuts on NBC television. In 1984, teachers at the McMartin Preschool in Manhattan Beach, California, are charged with satanic ritual abuse of the children in the school. The charges are later dropped as completely unfounded. Be sure to Google this and learn more about how things can get so out of hand so quickly. In 1986, rock group Hearts single, These Dreams, hits number one. Also in 1986, the duet by Patti LaBelle and Michael McDonald, On My Own, is released and becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. In 1990, an Anchorage, Alaska jury finds Captain Hazelwood not guilty of the Valdez oil spill. In 1991, law enforcement officers raid fraternities at the University of Virginia, seizing tons of drugs. Not literally tons, but a lot. Also in 1991, high school media assistant Pamela Smart is found guilty in New Hampshire of manipulating her student lover to kill her husband. And no, contrary to popular belief, she was not a teacher. In 1992, U.S. Air Flight 405 crashes shortly after takeoff from New York City's LaGuardia Airport, which leads to a number of studies into the effect of ice on aircraft. Also in 1992, the play Conversations with My Father, starring Judd Hirsch and Tony Shalhoub, opens at the Royale in New York City for 462 performances. In 1993, Intel makes the first Pentium microprocessor. In 1994, Tim McGraw's second studio album, Not A Moment Too Soon, is released and becomes Billboard's Album of the Year. In 1996, Cheryl Depew of Florida is crowned the 13th Miss Hawaiian Tropic International. I'll bet she was really ugly. In 1997, at 14 years old, Tara Lipinski becomes the youngest female figure skating world champion. Also in 1997, Sunset Boulevard closes at the Minskoff in New York City after 977 performances. In 1998, at the 18th Razzie Awards, The Postman wins. In 1999, Lone Star releases their song Amazed, which becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. In 2003, at the 23rd Razzie Awards, Swept Away wins. In 2009, Mount Readout in Alaska begins erupting. In 2010, NASA's rover Spirit gets caught in a sand trap on Mars and ceases communications with Earth. In 2011, American Football Hall of Famer Lawrence Taylor pleads guilty to sexual misconduct misdemeanors and is sentenced to six years of probation. In 2012, the largest protest in Quebec's history occurs in Montreal with over 200,000 people marching against government tuition hikes and for free access to post-secondary education. In 2013, American rock band My Chemical Romance announces their breakup. In 2014, 251 people are killed after a boat capsizes in Lake Albert, Uganda. Also in 2014, 43 people are killed by a mudslide in Oso, Washington. And in 2014 as well, Guinea confirms that an Ebola outbreak has already killed 59 people in their country. In 2016, ISIS suicide bombings in Brussels, Belgium leave 28 people dead and 260 more injured. In 2017, the Tomb of Jesus reopens after being restored in Jerusalem. In 2018, according to new research, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch between Hawaii and California has 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic and that number is increasing rapidly. Also in 2018, the musical Frozen opens on Broadway. In 2019, special counsel Robert Mueller delivered his report on Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Also in 2019, a mind-blowing discovery is announced of a 518 million year old fossil site in China that has thousands of well-preserved unknown fossils. In 2020, due to COVID-19, India puts 1 billion people under a daytime curfew. Also in 2020, the Iranian Supreme Leader refuses American COVID-19 help by referring to the conspiracy theory that COVID-19 was manufactured by the United States. And lastly, in 2021, 
the European Union, the United Kingdom, the United States, and Canada impose sanctions on China over rights abuses against people in their own country. That was today's episode. I'm pretty sure you enjoyed it. How could you not? Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon.